Echo sequence start in five, four, three, two, one. Misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's make plenty of noise. It's the main event of the evening. Presented by the Ace Boxing Group, we fight for the Australian and the Australasian Cruiserweight titles. Tonight, here at Eaton's Hill, we crown who is the king of the Cruiserweight. Eaton Hill, it's time. Make some noise for your main event of the evening. Champion versus champion, introducing to you first, standing across in the red corner. He weighed in officially 90.5 kilos. Originally from Perth, he's now based out of Brisbane, trained by Frankie Pianto out of the East Side Boxing Gym. His professional fight record, 10 fights, 10 wins, seven by way of knockout and the zero losses. He is the reigning defending Australasian cruiserweight champion and tonight he is your challenger for the Australian title Aiden's Hill makes some noise this is Floyd B.O.D. Masson and his opponent standing across in the blue corner he tipped the scales 89.7 kilos originally hailing from Townsville now based out of Brisbane, trained by Carl Winkle at the TK Elite Boxing Gym. 33 fights as a professional, 25 wins, 18 big wins by way of knockout. He is a former Queensland champion, a former WBO and WBA Oriental champion and a former two-time world title challenger. And tonight, he is your current reigning Defending Australian Cruiserweight Champion, I give you Mark Bam Bam Flanagan! Righto guys, I give you instructions in dress to respect your obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times, shake hands. 
Tony Kittle is our referee, Mark Flanagan. And Floyd Masson, our combatants. Two guys that have sparred countless rounds together. They are mates. They respect each other. They like each other. This is 10 three-minute rounds for the Australian and Australasian Cruiserweight title. 200 pound or 90.9 kilo. Mark Flanagan in the black trunks. Floyd Masson in the white. Go to the same barber as well. Same beard product. Right-hander versus a left-hander. I think there was a bet the loser has to shave it off, so they're not going to look alike anytime soon. Definitely the best domestic matchup for 2021, I feel, in the Australian circuit. Two um, big, strong kids, aren't they? Uh, unbelievably mashed. Bam Bam's got that kryptonite in his right hand, and Masson with that boxing excellence is mouth-watering. Masson, 10 fights, 10 wins, 7 knockouts. Mark Flanagan, 25 wins, 18 knockouts. So, whilst different style of athlete, both can generate that one-punch goodnight power. I think it should be noted that Mark Flanagan's last fight came to a southpaw. I mean, I know it's a yeah. very different opposition in Jaya Patea, but it was a, he was a southpaw, gave him a bit of trouble that day. So potentially that's something that Floyd Mason could exploit, but he's just been hit with a big right hand and here. he's wobbling. Floyd is wobbling. Wow, Back what a shot. Back to the corner. One minute 20 of the round to go. And Masson is on rubber legs. We've always said he's got that one-punch knockout, Mark Flanagan. No one can take him easy. He said he's been training the house time. It's his best prep ever, he's, he's told everyone. So it's a dangerous assignment here for Floyd Masson. Both guys know what the other is capable of. And both guys will be coming in, having sparred that many rounds, confident of an effective game plan. So far, it's it's Flanagan. He's just waiting with that right hand cocked, isn't he? Well, this is the continuation. There's no feeling out period, like we said earlier on in the piece. There's they, they, they've done that many rounds together. They know what each brings. So it's just it's it's hammer from the first. Oh, it's a good shot there from Masson. Right from the start, it's just go, go, go. No feeling out period here for either boys. Good body shot from Floyd. Last couple of seconds of what has been an intriguing opening round. Masson down, rubber legged. Fought his way back into it. We can see some replays of that first round. That's where it was. He walked straight onto it. Bang, that right oh. hand straight on the jaw. That was not missing. It rocked the socks of Floyd Masson. To his credit, he got back up and he fought out the round and he actually scored with a couple of his own good shots towards the latter, latter part of that first round. But that shot did not miss. That's a 10-8 round for Mark Flanagan. Yeah, huge opener for Bam Bam. Huge round. Trying to cool the core of Floyd Masson down there, putting the, the ice pack. One on the back of the neck and one in the middle of the forehead, just trying to Settle everything down. Doesn't always have that effect. Doesn't always clear. And sparring with uh, Benny Kelleher, uh, Django, heavyweight, Ricky e. Silva, Jackson Welsh, amongst others, as Floyd Masson. So he's he's coming in with quality around him. Yeah, and had a couple of really good scalps on his boxing resume already as well. Christian Zoe, Lance Bryant, Joe Liga, just to name a few. Mm. So 
this is another step up again. Don't don't get me wrong, but he's you know he's had a couple of good really fights in lead up to this. There's a good left hand there from Masson. That's what he's going to do. He's going to measure with that jab, Masson. He can't. He just can't let this big puncher get anywhere next to him. Bam, bam. When he's in that close quarters, he can hit you at any time and drop you, as we just saw early on. Oh, there's a good hook, just missing the mark, but getting him back to center ring, which is great. Pushing through the middle of the ring, trying to get Masson back against the ropes. Unmistakable, that look in the eye, the look on the face of Mark Flanagan. Seen it for so many years now, going back to, I guess, 2009 when he debuted. Yeah, Masson almost threw a lazy left power hand there and almost paid the price. Oh. He, if he's going to throw the power hand, he has to throw it ultra quick because uh, Bam Bam will be there to capitalise otherwise. Both boys trying to dictate the centre of the ring, but Masson, good movement now, le going left and right. The, you know, the old uh, cliche, don't judge a book by its cover. He looks like a rough and tumble lad, doesn't he? In uh, Floyd Masson, the tats and the whatnot. Uh, goes to church twice a week, every Wednesday, every Sunday. Dedicated to his training, won't miss. Point blank, just won't miss. Uh, interestingly, he's sponsored by Amin's Butcher at West End. He's on a carnivore diet. <laughs> he eats up to two kilos of steak a day. That's a good sponsor to have then. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Some good ribeye and some rump. Some sirloin off the off the sponsor. It was a good right hand, but Masson rode it well, luckily, because he didn't get the full grunt of it. That was a good left hand there from Masson as well. Oh, exchange in the middle of the ring, and both boys rock their heads back. Flanagan won the Australian Cruiserweight title last fight. That was against uh, Benny Kelleher. Been in with Jai Opatea. Done some sparring with him also. In the lead up to this fight, along with a couple of others of note. Both guys have come in super sharp, ready to go. Knocked down in the first round, Floyd Masson down. So a 10-8 round, you'd suggest, for Mark Flanagan. It's a fight changer. When it happens early, oh, oh. good shot by Floyd. Yeah, really good shot there. This is where he needs to be. He needs to be on the outside, moving left and right. Bam Bam trying to bite down on the mouth guard. Good body shot there. Good shots down the middle there once again from Masson. Nice strike. Oh, good right hand there from Flanagan. It's going tip for tat here. Boys punching in turns, and this is developing into what I guess we expected. Yep. 
Oh, good body shot. These are really good punches here from Masson. Rocking the head back of Flanagan, who then goes to the body. Now call time here. Tony Kettle will get in the middle and separate the pair. Bam Bam Flanagan trying to find a home for that right hand again that he had success with earlier on. Oh, I just missed there, Flanagan. Oh, not a lot in it. Oh. Just Dub caught the yeah. side of the neck yeah. almost. Doubling up that right hand into the body, into the head, changing it up. Flanagan. What a fight. <laughs> Punching in turns, all right. Yeah, aren't they? Always dangerous to fight someone that doesn't want to punch in turn. Right, right hand from Flanagan. Backing away as forward, looking to reset and restart with just under half a minute remaining in round number three. This is going to take some twists and turns before this is out. Mason Masson, should I say, really polished in what he does and how he does it. Gets back into that centre ring position. Flanagan, head down, march forward. Good punch by Masson. Yeah, really good shot there. Left hand straight down the middle, scoring from Masson. A much better round for him. Two of Mark's brothers in his corner with him tonight, interesting. See some replays here of the third round. It was a good shot there, straight down the pipeline from Masson. Swing and a miss there from Bam Bam. But if they hit you, they're going to hurt. Mark Flanagan's only losses have come to the cream of the crop of the world. Yeah. Jai Opatea, David Light, Arsene Goulamarian, Dennis Lebedev. A crazy amount of experience he would have sucked from those fights. Oh, astonishing. Originally from Townsville, grew up in the housing commissions there. Didn't have the money to play football and buy the boots and shorts and everything that went with it so stumbled into a gym with Dennis Clancy and the rest his history created a uh, wonderful career legacy he's now based north of Brisbane I dare say he'll head back up up to Townsville at some stage a wonderful uh, boxing career yeah really remarkable story Flanagan and he's uh, a beautiful guy to go along yep. with it as well just missing with that right hand once again. Oh, trying to double it up. Masson good on his feet. Oh, snapping there. Yeah, good body shot. Straight body shot from Masson once again. And there's the head shot. Floyd just tapping away nicely. Oh, striking with the... Left hand, geez, they're not far from each other. They are literally just standing on each other's chest, waiting to fire. Good shot from Floyd. Oh, absolute cracking body shot there. That's what it was, wasn't it? And it was unbelievable because he used all of his power. He was coming in like a freight train. And he just walked straight onto that powerful body rip oh. of Masson. Advantage Floyd. Yeah. And One dropping each. And now to the body, Flanagan, though. He is as tough as a $2 steak. Honestly, had all the ingredients of being fight of the year, and it's living up to it here. Both boys being dropped. Both boys throwing plenty of leather. The thud of that punch into Mark Flanagan's guts around this auditorium was horrendous. Oh, and another good shot there. Straight down the middle from Masson. And going back to that body, he just cringed a little bit there to Mark Flanagan. And look at the receipt. Look at him go. Fire back himself. He is such a true warrior, Mark Fl Flanagan. Flanagan going to the body in return. 
but this really gives Masai a huge advantage. He can drop the elbows at any stage of Mark Flanagan, who is in the corner and oh. is battling here now. They are thrown with bad intentions, friend or no friend. They want to knock each other out. Having a little chat, the final exchanges of the round. And a huge round it was. The body shot of the year from <laughs> Floyd Mason. It was Nathan said he was coming in Masson like a freight train and it had everything behind it. The thud and the noise of the air coming out of Mark Flanagan, horrific. We'll catch it here, look at that. He was just trying to swarm himself, bang! It wasn't to the ribs, it wasn't to the side, it was just Ugh. front on. Crippling, just crippling body shot. And they stay with you, Andy. They, that, that'll be hanging around the whole 10 rounds. He softened him up, and if he finds a home for that same shot, Flanagan's gonna know about it. Wow, there's an evener. This is round five. So Floyd Masson down in the first. Mark Flanagan down in the fourth. So rounds one and four even themselves out. Yep. The score is in two and three, the important ones as we continue on. Floyd Masson in the white, Mark Flanagan in the bat black. This is for the Australian Cruiserweight and Australasian Cruiserweight title. Tenno, three minute rounds. There's more exclamation marks coming in this fight. You can just see it. Just way too many power shots being thrown by both boys. Eventually one's gonna catch and somebody's gonna get hurt again. You can see both, both boys doing a good job of trying to control that center ring once again, like a previous fight. Hassan backing his opponent now, trying to find that rip again to the body. Good shots there from Flanagan. Oh, doubling it up, just missing that second time. Oh, and a right hand. Marking on both guys already, significant under the eyes. Two and three good shots there from Flanagan, backing up Masson. Oh, that is wonderful yeah, boxing yeah. from Mark Flanagan. Yeah, good variation of shots, body to head. And genuine power in every one of those shots. He just loaded up with a massive bomb then, just missing the mark. Two and three taps there, and there's Masson comes back. Two left-hand leads for Masson, and tries to go back to the body. Oh, he's, he's hit him low there. That was very low. He will catch it on replay potentially, but that was really, really low. He'll get a warning here. Tony Kittlewell over there helping Mark Flanagan. A few deep breaths, count them. They're both there, play on. Nothing intentional at all. Mark Flanagan knows that. Yeah. Once again, he's finding a home for that left hand. That's two and three good shots there from Masson in quick succession. Terrific fight. Oh, right hand just missing for Flanagan. Punching in turns they are. And back to center ring. Oh, Flanagan in close. Uh, they're not discriminating between the body no. and the head here tonight. An even amount of shots, both.
I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative, I don't wanna get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive, you know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win, I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag, I wanna weigh, I can change all the things I lack, I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that, got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. Six, Tony Kettlewell. Yep, past the halfway mark now of this title bout. Hassan trying oh. to measure once again with that jab. How do they keep going and double their... <laughs> double what they've done already. <laughs> Both absolutely aching, but battling through they're, they're probably on their second or third win already by this stage both have been knocked down one in the fourth Floyd was down Mark was down sorry Mark was down in the fourth Floyd was down in the first, first yeah. what a remarkable comeback from that it's been from Floyd mm. yep Trying to measure here is Masson trying to get his distance, trying to pop off his stronger punch with his left hand, which he just did then, rocking the head back of Flanagan. Oh, and again. Yeah. Oh, good. the receipt from to Floyd. There, there hasn't been any prolonged momentum shifts. It's been back, forth, yeah. back, forth. Exactly, yeah. It was a good body shot once again from Masson trying to double and triple it up, but it's just too hard because Mark Flanagan, so experienced, turns his opponent, holds his opponent. Oh, big swing and a miss. Those swings and misses like that, so deadly when you miss against a mirror and opponent. Yep. Right righty, lefty, because everything's open for yep. them just to go power. Exactly. And you spend a lot of bickies throwing them as well yeah. because there's everything behind those shots. It really zaps the energy out here. Masson trying to work. Oh, good uppercut there and close. Trying to triple, double. Trying to do everything here that he can to get Mark Flanagan off his chest. But Mark, ever so experienced. He's just, he knows what to do. He's been in the trenches before. He's been in... He's been to Russia and fought the Russian champion, yep. Lebedev. Look at this. They're into it. Two and three good shots there from Mark Flanagan. You could cut the ring in half and then half it again, and these two would be happy. Yeah, both boys. There's not going to be a lot of footwork in the next couple of rounds. Nah, not they're, at all. They're going to be right in each other's chest. Not at all. You can see... Both boys holding on for dear life now as there's only 20 seconds left in round six. It feels like they've been 60. Punching on the break or a slip on the, on the signage there from Mark Flanagan. Oh, five and six Flanagan shots. Flanagan to finish the round. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> five and six shots. I think Masson was ready to go back to the corner. He forgot there was still five seconds to go on the round. And that's all it took. And look at the replays here of round number six. It's gone fast because it's been so entertaining. Masson. And then Bam Bam Flanagan. Wowee. Swing misses. Oh, five and six punches to finish off the round there. No power shots, but they were crisp. They were all clean, and they're all scorers. 
What a, what a fight and what a way to finish that previous round. Now, this is where it gets different for these two guys because as we move into round number seven, despite the fact they have sparred countless hours and they know each other so well, sparring doesn't end up like this. No. Where, where you're chest on chest and just looking for the, the one punch, punch hail maker. It's pulled up by that stage. Exactly. So this is probably unfamiliar territory for both these two guys. Yeah, and throw a bit of fatigue in there. They could get a bit wayward, these shots. Mm. And you can see there was a swing and a big swing and a miss there from Bam Bam Flanagan. There's a couple of good jabs, though. Oh, and a big right hand to follow. And doubling it up. The song's got to get back on that jab. Keep that measuring stick out. Backing away here, Flanagan. Oh, chopping body yeah. shots from Masson. Oh, and again from Floyd. How tough are these two boys? Both been down, the both head. ups, both throwing plenty of power shots. Another good shot there from Masson. The hands are slowly dropping of Mark Flanagan. Yep. Those body shots, they have an effect. No, they, they, uh, they stay with you. Yeah, they do, don't they? Oh, oh, and he rips in again, does Floyd Masson. Then changes levels, then goes back up. When's the right time to stay low? When's the right time to go up? It's all about feel as we're halfway through round number seven. A battle for the Australian Cruiserweight and Australasian Cruiserweight titles at Eaton's Hill. You can see mouth really wide open now for Flanagan. He's starting to suck in the big ones here. And Masson, he can see something here. You can feel he's uh, he's putting the foot on the throat here because he's thrown a lot more punches than Bam Bam Flanagan in this last 30 seconds, and he's starting to hit at will. Here oh, we go! It had all the ingredients of being fight of the year. It's lived up to it. Masson can smell the end here. He's really starting to turn the screws on Mark Flanagan's career. Now they're shoulder on shoulder. Crossing left hand. Straight right from Masson. Flanagan will do this all day long. He's a fighter. Oh. Oh. Rock head, head rock back. Then Flanagan strikes Masson with the first two punches of the combination. And that was a good body shot from Flanagan. And oh. there's three and four shots from Flanagan. Wow. Erupted, and we have still got nine minutes to go. Unbelievable. Wherever you're watching, text your mate and say, you're missing out. You're <laughs> missing out if you're not watching this. Wow, what a classic 30 seconds there was of that last bit of that round again. Crazy good. Both boys so tough. So determined and so willing. Both boys want this win more than anything. You can see the replays here. Just take a 10 second snippet and just keep on looping it because it was more of the same. Oh, three, four, five, six shots from Flanagan and then Masson's back on. Here we go. Round. Number eight. And after what we've seen, it's going to be hard to beat. But these two, they may just do it. Three and four jabs there from Flanagan. Gets them back into center ring. Both boys, yes. miss, yeah, once again coming together like two bulls. The left eye. Yeah, of I just Floyd saw that. Masson. Just saw that. Heavily swollen, maybe cut. 
And they are ripping oh. each other together again. Changing levels, high to low. Looking for that opening, looking for that one shot. Flanagan, 25 wins, 18 knockouts. Masson, 10 wins, 7 knockouts. Both have the power, but under fatigue. Do they have the power in one punch? As Flanagan says, let's go. Oh, and a big right hand for Flanagan. He's calling the shots now. With his hands down, he's calling the shots. Oh. <laughs> Look at the gamemanship on both boys. Crazy. You would never think they're friends. Nice work from Flanagan. Slipping the two. Keeping the punches short. Back against the ropes. And he's trying to spin Floyd Masson here. Keep busy on the front foot. Spin him around, trap him in the corner. Oh, right hand landing there from Flanagan. And there's the receipt once again from Masson. Three and four punches straight down the barrel. A minute remaining, round number eight. Oh, right hand hook there from Masson. In the middle of a Flanagan onslaught. Oh. 290 kilo blokes having a red hot crack. On the inside, Flanagan. Sucking the big ones in. Trying to stay at his distance for the moment as Floyd Masson, 30 seconds remaining. Round number eight. And then to the body again. Yeah, both boys remarkably fit to go through this torture and still be on their feet and throwing the output for such big guys. That's a testament to their fitness, both boys. Yep, absolutely. Finishing the round has oh. been always enjoyable, the last couple anyway. And from nine minutes, we now have six to go. Round eight, another special one. Both boys, look at them. Egging each other on. Good right hand there from Bam Bam. Relentless work, both boys. Leaving it all out there. Six minutes to go. Wow. Both guys are exhausted. That settled with half the pay. That settled with half the titles, but bragging rights they're not willing to concede. So they step out. Out of their corner and out of their comfort zone again. Six minutes remaining. Floyd Masson in the white, Mark Flanagan in the black. Both guys have been down. So we're eight rounds complete. Round one, round four cancels each other out. So we're scoring two, three, five, six, seven, eight, of course. have pushed their bodies to the extreme so far. The end of round number seven, amazing, and Flanagan marches forward, throwing shots, punches in bunches, if you like. Yep. Masson happy to be on the outside, just skirting around the outsides of the ring. Flanagan wants to be in close. Double jab and a right, all missing for Mark Flanagan. And there's a left scoring for Masson, but there is the comeback. Floyd's productivity's just dropped a little. Yeah, he does, yeah, a little bit. He's, he's almost had a half a round off here. Yeah. 
needs to get back onto his jab. Oh, good shot there from Flanagan. Blood from the mouth of Masson, from the nose of Flanagan. Yeah, definitely having this round off Masson. Flanagan's been far superior in his dictating the pace of this round. Couple of fights tonight come to mind, this included when you say, whatever the result, let's do it again. Yep. Good there right go. Yeah, there it is. Stepped up a power. Yep. Flanagan's head gets rocked backwards. Ugh. It's Floyd Masson looking for the finish. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the penultimate round. Tony Kettlewell between them. Probably not a good place to be because both boys are thrown with bad intentions as Masson starts to the body, finishes to the head. Here's the comeback. For f oh, just missing there. Bam, bam. Yeah, there wasn't much the in top. that. Flanagan skirting the perimeter of the ring. Masson, man in charge in the middle. We have just 10 seconds to go in round number nine. Oh, two, two, three, four good shots there from Masson. He closes out the round. He had the first half off, but he closes it out well, Masson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going the distance. We got around to the final round. Turn up the section four. As we see some of these highlights, there is head rocking everywhere from both boys. The first part of that round was owned by Bam Bam. The second part was owned by that man yeah. in the blue and white, Floyd Masson. The calm before the storm. The last couple of breaths. It's coming, you can feel it. Yeah, you can. The last couple of breaths, the last little bit of peace or relaxation for Floyd Masson and Mark Flanagan and these two legends. The Warriors, they embrace their mates. They like each other. They like each other's family. Yet they're standing there trying to finish the other man. And we have got three minutes to go to crown new Australian and Australasian cruiserweight champion. Again, you cut the ring in half, halve it again, and maybe go another time. These guys just happy to stand on each other's chest and wail away. They have punched in turn for 28 minutes. One drop each. Oh, good shot once again. Good body shot from Masson. Mark Flanagan's going to have sore ribs, maybe a floating rib in the morning. These body shots are just brutal by Floyd. And just look at the punch output for, yeah. for this weight division. It's unheard of. Ridiculous. These boys are cruiserweights. They're yeah. punching like lightweights. Oh, 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 two shots oh, from Flanagan. Oh, one just got caught on the point of the chin. Very dangerous for Masson. Is there one late twist? One last turn. Oh, four, Look five, six this. punches. <laughs> How tough are these boys? I said it at the start of the night. I repeated it myself across the course of the night. What Ace Boxing does and what Ace Boxing has done for 21 years is give you the best. It matches fights stylistically. We don't worry about the big names and padded records. What we don't worry about are 50-50 fights and presenting you with something you can enjoy. We've got one minute to go in our main event and you'd be the Grinch at Christmas if you weren't enjoying this. Floyd Mason, and Mark Flanagan doing their thing in front of a sold-out crowd at Eaton's Hill in Brisbane. This is our last show for 2021. This is the last fight.
for 2021. And what a way to finish it. We are going to finish it in style. Two blokes at very different points in their career. But two blokes with a burning desire and a passion and a character thriving and driving for success. They have put on a beauty. Now buckle up because there's 10 seconds to go. Mark Flanagan, Floyd Masson, they have done their thing for half an hour. Let's finish it off in stock. Unbelievable fight. Great dancing partners. Stand and applaud. The whole crowd are on their feet. A credit to themselves, a credit to their family, a credit to the two titles that are on the line tonight, the Australian and Australasian Cruiserweight titles. Unbelievable performance from both boys. And look at the ultimate respect from both combatants, both warriors. This is what boxing's all about. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Phenomenal. You could see some snippets of the last round, and it was more of the same once again. Right hands and left hands from Masson. Both boys finish, embrace, it's game over, back to friends. Crazy good fight. That amazing ability to switch on, switch off, that separates the elite guys from the rest of us. And they have done an outstanding job here tonight in illustrating that, Floyd Masson and Mark Flanagan. Yeah, wowee, unbelievable. Crazy good. Add that to Nicola Costello and Jazzy Parr and maybe Ryan Lamont and Hayden Emerson from earlier. We've got half a card already for, for next year. Yep. Let's replay them again. How did you score our main event? I wasn't scoring. I was too busy enjoying trying to keep up with the the output, the volume of punches and punishment, and brutality that we saw. Two of Mark's brothers in the corner there with him. Floyd's got the gloves off. I'll say it again, what a testament to their fitness non-stop punching for such big boys well done John Hawk going over the numbers both corners have got an air of confidence about them yeah both scored a knockdown the referee is aware as both guys head centre ring, let's go down to James. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this one official. But make sure you make plenty of noise. What an absolute classic, ladies and gentlemen. So an incredible fight worthy of a main event. Incredible contest between two incredible athletes. You saw an amazing amount of respect between the two. They laid it all on the line and they entertained you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, immensely. All that is left now is for us to go to the decision. You know, the team in here from Bill Chaser to help make the presentation of the belt. So again, we have the Australian and the Australasian championship belts so Floyd Masana and Mark Bam Bam Flanagan so we are just moments away from making this one official incredible fight
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll get to, to make this one official. So again, a great respect. So we'll get our two fighters to, uh, to centering here, ladies and gentlemen, and we will make this one official. So two uh, champions. So one is going to retain one of their belts, or we're going to have one of their fighters that's going to walk away with both of our belts. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, make some noise for these two guys. Seriously. That's it. Stand on your feet. They deserve your applause. What a fight we had. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Phil Gregory scored the bout 94, 94, a draw. Judge Phil Austin adjudged the contest 96 to 92. Judge Roy Saunders adjudged the contest 96 to 92 to your winner by majority decision. And it goes to uh, the red corner, Floyd B O D Massa. The Australian and the Australasian champion, Floyd, Floyd Massa. Victorious, a majority decision, 96-92, 96-92, 94-94. There's no losers in that contest. No. Honestly, both boys, warrior-like effort. A crazy performance for the crowd. Bam, bam. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll grab a few words off our, uh, our winner. First of all, uh, Floyd, what does this moment mean to you to have those two belts around your waist? Man, just firstly, I just want to uh, thank Bam Bam again because not many people know he gets up at six, six in the morning, goes and works all day, spends time with his kids and family, then he trains at eight o'clock at night, gets to bed at 10 every day of the week. So full respect to Bam Bam, he's a legend, bro. And I'm, I get to train full time, that's my job. So, and that's what probably paid off at the end. I just had that little bit extra to give maybe. So, but um, this means everything to me. I dedicate my life to this. And uh, I've sacrificed a lot, and it's a dream come true. An amazing fight, ladies and gentlemen. You were absolutely entertained. Uh, you gave us an incredible 10 rounds, the pair of you. Uh, the respect shown during the fight, after the fight, is what made this one really special. Yeah, 100%, man. I love Bam Bam. He's, he's a warrior in and out of the ring. And, and uh, yeah, it just means everything, man. And there's no one uh, I wanted to do it with more than Bam Bam, so... For yourself, you climbed off the canvas in the first round yeah. to come back and win that fight. Man, yeah. That first round, I didn't know where I was for that whole round, so he should have jumped on me then because I was, I was, uh, yeah, I was out on my feet there. But um, I just came back in that second round and got my feet together and just wanted to win so much that I just dug deep and, yeah, did the job. The biggest win of your career, uh, where does this take you now? Man, I, as I said, I've always wanted to be a world champion. There's no point trying to be a world champ if you don't fight the best in the country. So, uh, and Bam Bam's definitely the best in the country outside of Jai. So, man, uh, yeah, all credit to him. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. This is our winner tonight. So he's a new Australian and Australasian champion, as is Floyd Masson. Thanks, guys. And just want to, all my sponsors know who, uh, who they are on my shorts and that. But uh, we're going to go get a big feed at Almond's Butcher tomorrow night. Everyone should go check it out in West End. Thank you. So that's so that's for, so we might grab uh, Mark Flanagan. So I'd like to say a uh, a few words, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for this man. What a uh, a fight! An incredible performance. Uh, Mark, un unfortunately, there had to be a winner and a loser tonight. Um, but you must should, must be incredibly proud of the performance you put up here tonight. Yeah, it was a good fight. Um, Floyd came out strong. I caught him early in that first round. I thought I should jump on it, but. He's uh, got a good poker face. Wasn't sure if he was all there or not, but um, I play, probably played a little bit too smart early, but um, yeah, I knew he'd come home strong in the later rounds, which he did, and uh, it's just his work rate really got the edge on him. You, know? you were a part of an, in, an incredible fight. As I said, for the fans that watched it, they'll never forget it. Uh, for yourself, uh, what was it like in the ring here with having all these people cheer your name or, or just cheer for boxing? Oh, it was good to be in here. It's good to have everyone cheering us on, you know. Uh, 
Ian's Hill's always got a great atmosphere, and uh, thanks to everyone for coming out, supporting me, supporting Floyd, and I hope we put on a good fight for everyone, you know? And great respect again shown between the two of you there at the conclusion of that final bell. Yeah, good respect there, you know. We'll call each other on all night, and uh, he's had that little bit extra in the gas tank, you know. That's what happens when you can train full time and you've got a you know, 10 hour carpenter a day in here, you know, it makes it hard to try and compete at this level. But um, I do my best, you know, I, I work hard all day. I, I'm in the gym late and I do as much as I can, you know, but to have the edge in a high stakes fight like this, you really got to be, you know, full time and really putting in that extra effort, which I unfortunately don't have the time to do. I think uh, you lost no admirers here tonight. I think anyone that was here tonight would um, probably even think even more of you for an incredible performance, not only the fight, but the person you are, uh, the way you carry yourself, uh, Mark Bam Bam Flanagan, whatever comes up, thank you for what you've done. All right, thanks, mate. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mark Bam Bam Flanagan and Floyd Masson, a wonderful main event. We might hand it back up to, to the boys, so we'll hand it back up to, uh, to Andy and Nathan.